In this tutorial, we are going to learn the basic MATLAB operation using command window and later we will develop a code to do the operation by taking inputs from the user. Let's take a 2x2 two two matrix whose elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and another matrix B with the elements 5, 6, 7, 8. Now to perform the operations using command window, let's declare the matrix A. Similarly, let's declare the matrix B. As you can see, matrix B is stored in the variable B. Let's perform our first operation which is addition. In order to do that, just write A plus B on the command window and press enter. For the subtraction of the two matrix, write A minus B on the command window and press enter. Multiplication can be done by writing A cross B on the command window. In order to inverse each matrix, write A inverse 1 and B inverse 1. At last, for transposing each matrix, write transpose A. Okay, transpose A should have been written without the apostrophe. This shows the transpose version of matrix A. In order to transpose matrix B, write transpose B in the command window. Transpose form of matrix B is shown on the command window. Let's clear the window and move on to the next step. At first we use CLC clear or close all used to clear the command window if the program simulation is done continuously. Let's take the number of matrix n equals to 2. Set the counter i, j and k equals to 1. Initiate the while loop with the condition to run it till n. Use app printf to indicate the matrix. Take the input of number of row and store it to R. Take the input of number of column and store it to C. Initiate the for loop for running it till the number of rows are. Initiate another for loop for taking the value of column element when the row is fixed.
take the value of elements and store it to x i comma j where i is equals to row and j is equals to column Now close the loops. Let's reshape the matrix input into a R by C matrix. Store each matrix to a variable BK. Increase the value of K by 1. Let's provide the code for the operation of the addition, subtraction and multiplication. Similarly, let's write the code for the inversion of matrix A and B and for the transpose of matrix A and B. Let's run the program. Let's enter the first matrix which has the order of 2 cross 2. Let's enter the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 simultaneously. And similarly the second matrix B. and its elements 5, 6, 7, 8. As you can see, the result of addition, subtraction, multiplication have been published for the two metrics that we have entered. The result of inversion and the transposition has been published for the individual metrics. Now if you want to take more metrics as input then you can do it by changing the value of n.